Hi friends! This is our second lesson in technical drawing and today we're going to learn how to draw 3D cube. Why is it important to learn how to draw? Because if you have an idea in your head and you want to try and share that idea with somebody, well, you could use words and you could say, I want it to be like this. Or you could give them a drawing. The better drawing you make, the easier it will be to understand your ideas. Learning to draw a 3D cube is the very basic of technical drawing. So uh, watch the video. Please remember that if I'm going too fast, you can always hit the pause button and rewind and take a look at it again. Okay, have fun, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So why is it so important to be able to make 3D drawings? Well, if you're making a plan for something, you want to show it as realistic as possible. And very few things in the world are two-dimensional, which means flat. You could almost say a piece of paper is two-dimensional, but you don't have to build that. One of the stories I like to tell is about a student who came in once and he said, I want to build this. And I said, what is that? It looks like a circle. And he said, it's a baseball bat. And I said, oh, I see, that's the end of the baseball bat. But to make it three-dimensional, you need to draw the whole baseball bat. Right now it starts to look like a baseball bat. Or what if you came in and you said, I want to build this. And I said, great, it looks like a square. What is it? And I said, no, I want to build a box. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you need to make a box. You need to make it look three-dimensional. Well, it looks like a box. You can do some other details to help it look more like a box. Like if it's a box with an open top, you can have... This kind of thing. So today we're going to learn how to make a simple 3D drawing of a box. When I started to think about how to teach drawing in three dimensions, I thought it would be best to actually hold something three-dimensional and look what it looks like. So here's a little cube that I have, a little piece of wood, and if you look at it straight on, it looks flat like a piece of paper. But as soon as you start to tilt it, you can see that it has two sides. And then if you tilt it again, you can see that it has three sides, three dimensions. And now we have to define those dimensions and see them. So on the other side, I drew some lines. And these lines represent height, width and depth, okay? And so they're the three dimensions. If you hold it like that, it kind of looks like a Y. Can you see the Y shape? If I hold it this way, it kind of looks like a uh, upside down, maybe two L's that are next to each other, mirror image L's. So I'm gonna look at that and I'm gonna draw the basic L shape and show you how we draw a cube. I'm gonna draw it very quickly first, just so you can get an idea, and then I'm gonna show you the technical drawing way to do it. So what I've drawn here is a basic three-dimensional shape. It has height, it has width, and it has depth. So that's what we're gonna be drawing. Now this doesn't have any measurements on it, and so that's the next step. It really, really helps to have practiced drawing your parallel lines. So I hope that you've completed the first lesson about how to draw parallel lines. Okay, let's begin to draw a 3D box shape. We need three dimensions, height, width, and depth. And I'm gonna use my ruler. In about the middle of the page, I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight down 
try and keep my ruler as parallel to the sides as possible. And I'm going to draw a line that comes straight down in the middle. Now, in keeping with the double L shape, I'm going to draw two lines that go up. To draw the depth aside, I'm going to come to the bottom here from this point. I'm going to draw out. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it at a different angle. This would be about the same angle, so I'm going to do it a little bit more of an angle here, starting here and drawing out. Okay, can you see how I have the shapes here now? Just as a reminder, I'm going to put an H up here for height. I'm going to put a W over here for width and a D over here for depth. And now using the ruler, I'm going to make some measurements. This is our, this is our axis point here. This is the center here. Everything is zero right there. So I can draw a little zero. And now using the ruler, I'm going to put some measurements on my lines. And I'm just going to use inches. One, two, three, four, five, and the same thing here. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and rewind and take a look. Take a look at this, and this is a good place for you to make your first stop. Okay, so here's what our project calls for. I want to make a box. And I want my box to have the dimensions of a height of three and a width of two and a depth of three. So taking these dimensions, I'm going to transfer them here. I'm going to have a height of three. So zero, one, two, three. I'm going to make a dot right there. And a width of two. So I'm going to come here and make a dot at two and a depth of three. So I'm going to come over here. One, two, three and make a dot. And now we're ready to draw some parallel lines. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my height lines. They're going to come up from our bottom lines. You don't have to measure anything, but you do have to practice drawing your parallel line. And what are our lines going to be parallel to? Our height line is going to be parallel to this one. So starting here, I want to be very careful. That does not look parallel, does not look parallel. That looks pretty parallel. And I'm going to draw a line that goes straight up. And I drew kind of a light line there because I know I'm going to have to erase it at some point. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing over here on the depth side. I'm going to draw up Maybe I'm drawing too lightly. I don't know if the camera can see those lines. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a line parallel to the depth line. And I'm going to be starting from this point on the height line. So there's the dot on the height line. Now this is tricky. I want to make sure that my ruler is parallel to the bottom line here. So I'm going to take my time very slowly. Use my eyes. Remember your eyes won't lie as long as you don't lie to yourself. Those two look close enough to be parallel. And now I'm going to do the same thing again for the width line. Starting at the center dot. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start from the height line and just go across. I don't have to go any farther because now where these lines cross, 
that's what I'm going to pay attention to here and here. So now I have the front, I have the front two sides of my cube drawn. I need to draw the back edges. So see where these two lines cross here? I'm going to start with that with my ruler and I'm going to draw a parallel line that is parallel to this line. Does that look parallel? Starting here. And it just kind of goes off into the distance. And now I need to draw a line parallel to the width line. This line and this line are the width line. Come over to this side and I'm going to try and draw a line that's parallel to the width line. Okay, that looks pretty good. Starting here from this dot and I'm going to draw a line that connects. Okay, can you see that I now have two sides and a top? What's the next step to do? Erasing. So I asked you to draw lightly, so this should, these lines should erase easily. Now I can go over some of my lines to draw them a little darker. Okay, and that certainly looks like a 3D box. This is a box that has a top. If I wanted to draw an open box, I need to give some detail to the inside. So watch how easily I can transform a box with a top to a box that's open. I'm gonna to go to this back point here, the back corner of the box, and I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the height line from here. And I'm gonna go straight down How about that? Now it's a box that's open. We'll start to talk about shading in the next lesson, but what I'd like you to do is try to draw a three-dimensional box. You can put any width, depth, and height that you want to, as long as it fits on the page, and write your name on it, and please submit it. Thank you very much.